Hello everybody, good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be tackling, yet again, the Dungeons of Mysteria, a game currently being actively developed by Grindalf using Blitz 3D. This game is downright skinny. It is only 75 megs. That is skinny to me. Uh, Grindalf also goes by Grandalf. So anyways, we are going to make yet another new character, and this time... Hello. Oh, maybe that's what I get for uh, for renaming the dev. Okay, so new game. Let's try that again. Maybe we can replicate it. In this build, we have classes. Classes. We have the knight, the mage, the archer, and the bard. I feel pretty special because I, uh, I, I, I was very enthusiastic in suggesting the bard and didn't expect anything of it, but boom, there we go. He's like, fine, bard, harps, harps, there you go. Uh, the classes you select at the beginning of the game will actually determine what weapons you start out with. They won't really affect anything else. So this just, you know, lets you get a head start on your playstyle. And, oh, I didn't know I could do that. That's awesome. We're going to keep the stats at 2020. And we're going to go for Bard. And we are going to try to get ourselves a different... Oh, actually, I just select something. Do I want a different body? Yeah, I want a different hat. And I want the tricorn. Um, we're gonna make the top. I think I'm gonna keep the top. I think I'll change the face. I'm gonna give them long hair. Long blue hair, if possible. That might be nice. Uh, let's see. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this. I think this is my character. And I think that this is, oh, no, the eyes. The eyes need to be changed. The eyes need to be red, and the reason the eyes need to be red is because this is my Final Fantasy XIV bard, and I can't make the eyes red, but I can make them brown, so that's the next best thing. Their name is Vierge. We will accept this. Although they really should be an archer, I'm going to make them a bard. In Final Fantasy, you, uh, you start out as an archer and you you basically stay an archer but you become a bard oh they also added grindalf also added a clearing what what the proceed to next dungeon no not yet they added a clearing they added a tutorial level that kind of gives you the chance to yeah <laughs> i love that so much i think they're they're poison notes i love it so much what's in this tent uh, talk to traveling merchant? Yes. I don't want to kill him now. How do I enter? Oh my. I don't want to hurt you. That was I. I don't want to do that. There we go. E. I meant to use the A W A S D. Hi. You look new to Mysteria. There are so many unexplored dungeons and ruins here in this mysterious land. I'm sure you will find plenty of treasure and adventure. Come back here after you finish a dungeon, and maybe I will have something new for you to buy. Well, thank you. I find a lot of stuff while I'm wandering around. Would you like to see my stock? Uh, uh, do you have anything? You do. Oh my goodness. You've got apple. You've got carrot. You've got apple. You've got hip potion. Very hip. All the kids are drinking potions these days. I think I'll go with, oh, I kind of figured the inventory was limited and that's why there were two apples. That doesn't seem to be the case. That's fine. I'm going to buy Three apples and a carrot, because I know I'm going to get my arse handed to me. Oh, I love the uh, fidelity with which the pixel map, mini-map in the corner, fills in. Oh no, I can't cross over. I think I don't have choice in the matter. I think it's time to challenge the Dungeon of Hysteria. Where, where's, where's the prompt? There's the prompt. One more time. Prompt? Prompt it up. Prompt. There you are. Yes. Here we are. The Crypt of the Unknown Knight. Floor one. Is that new? Oh, pick up the ale. Oh, yes, I will. I've got a good batch of ale. Actually, lager brewing right now in the back room. I should take you guys. Whoa, hey there. Hey there. Hey there. You little jackasses. Man, they really snuck up on me. This version's supposed to be a little bit easier. Hello. Difficulty adjusted. Um, but I'm still going to play just as badly, so. Oh, I wish you could cut down the cobwebs. I wish you could do that. 
I kind of wish they would slow you down. Haha, <laughs> you're poisoned. I can tell you're poisoned because your eyes are green. That probably has nothing to do with it. I wish the cobweb would slow you down when you walk through them, and then I wish you could cut them down. Oh wow, the milk. Oh wow. Milk really does a body good. They, uh, the, 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 the milk will actually help give you like a regen up to a certain amount of points. Ha! Take that. I'm gonna poison everybody with my poison notes, but will you die from it? Don't think so. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I love that. Who's attacking me? You stupid bat. Oh, the armor of defense. I need that right now. See, the uh, the point is to not die, because that would be embarrassing. Just go ahead, clear up this inventory and not hit escape. I think the developer made it to where the escape button would not exit the game, thanks to my grievous errors in using it. But you know that that's not that's not totally necessary. I should just I should just learn not to hit the escape button. Are you done? Cat has no regard for my for my gameplay or for my dreams. All right. This is the first time I'm seeing this. Proceed to next floor? Yes. We now have floors. That's exciting. This is a this is a good update. This is a really good update. Let's keep our hand on the left wall and oh god, watch out for slimes. Bats. And whoa, 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 Entrance to the next floor. Man, there's a trap there. Is that what's going on? I hate that. Get away from me. Then just throw my debuffs at the bat until he dies. I'm not actually sure if the debuffs are stacking. Ooh, I hate spikes. Hate them. Can I can I can I music the crypt? No, it doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so if the debuffs stack, then I'm like poisoning my enemies a hundred times. I don't know if that is the case, but it would be hilarious. Alright. Uh, some of you may be wondering what the point of this game is. I've played it twice now and I haven't really divulged any anything that I know about it. The point is to get out of the dungeon and get to the town, because once you get to the town, you can explore some different mechanics that this game has. One of which being that if you take characters through the dungeon and get to the town, you can retire them. Now that's, that is something that I may have mentioned in a previous video, but it's an awesome mechanic. And this will be unexplored territory here. Um, if your character dies, you will have a graveyard and you will be able to visit the grave of your character. Yeah, you can eat it bat. I might be good. I might, I might, I might be good with this. I think I am killing the bats though, with the killing my, my enemies with my harp. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. As it stands, I feel unfairly overpowered because the harp has no limitation, does it? Oh, what if it has, what if it has durability? I think I just now thinking that that might be the case. The star harp uses 45. I did it. I hit escape. I hit escape. Nothing to it, nothing to it but to do it. We're gonna bard it up again. And we're gonna, we're gonna go with this, this character here. Her name's gonna be Mia. We're going to accept that and we're going to go straight into the dungeon. The tomb of Queen Mason Troy. Also the dungeon itself is randomized. That is so cool. All right, the harp has 48 uses now. Still has 48. What constitutes a use? Every 10 plucks? Is it every time it kills an enemy? Oh my God, different enemies, man. He threw a bone at me. Did you see that? Threw a freaking bone at me. All right, well, let's just get to the dungeon. I said I was gonna do it and I wasn't trying to tell you lies. Let's just get to the dungeon. Ooh, hey, hey there, hey there, hey there. Ah, I didn't wait long enough. Got a dungeon key and I don't know what it does. Stop. We can afford to have this apple and this hazelnut. No, not the hazelnut. This apple. Press I, not escape. Oh, bums me out. Here I was thinking escape had uh, been disabled and I was, I was talking about how it wasn't necessary and I just needed to learn not to use it. And did I take my own advice? No. Why would I do that? Why would I do such a thing? Hey, slimes appear to be very weak to my tunes. They must be weak to fire because my mixtape is, you know, I screwed that up. So I'm just going to stop there. Pick up the arrows. I could sell the arrows. I don't plan on using arrows. This build, this character, and I would really like to take my battle bard through the dungeon for my first clear. Oh, if I could stop running into spikes, that would be amazing. Would be amazing. That has a lot more to do with uh, me being incompetent though. Let's head south. See who? Damn it. I like the bats better. I've been debuffed. I'm going slow. There we go. I really appreciate the debuffs though. I mean, I appreciate slightly different configuration of rooms and mechanics and enemies and the abilities that they have in each playthrough. That's cool. That really is. Because I don't know that I would have played this- Oh my god! I'm not paying attention to my 
surroundings and I'm getting murdered. Uh, the other goal in this game is to, besides not dying, I was so close to dying though, is to collect a certain amount of gold. I'm not sure because I can't remember between conversations about Dungeons of Mysteria and other games if it's to, if that's the end game or if that is just to help you the character that you collect the gold on, I think it is a total amount of gold. Doubtless the developer will make sure to clarify if I screw up the description too much. There's a, that's a dead end. If I'm looking at my map, that is a dead end. So I need to go this way and then straight. Straight into the spikes. Nothing there. Man, I rolled really well that last dungeon. I wish I hadn't screwed it up. Can't leave. All right, next floor, Tomb of Mason Troy, floor two. We've got some chicken. We've got some spooky, scary skeletons. We've got some dungeon keys, and I don't know what the dungeon keys do. Unless... Unless it turns out that I don't have my dungeon key from the last floor. Oh, I don't. So do I need the key to go down a floor? If I were to find... Yeah, my, 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 my tunes are ripping these guys to shreds, man. My harp is on fire. Oh, my harp is on fire. It is a different power. That's why it's dealing so much damage. And I still have 48 uses left. This harp is not leaving my inventory ever. This harp is staying with me. I will be buried with this harp. That's actually not a lie. Once this character dies, I'm probably not going to ever roll this OP harp ever again. Sad day. It's all right, I got this. Oh, jeez, I say as a slime launches itself onto my face. That's okay, you know, I made a very close... A come, a come back from the dead there. What? That's not the ladder that I came down, is it? Did I just not break that box last time? Oh well. It destroys boxes too. It's awesome. They won't destroy crypts. You know, the hitbox on my character is surprisingly... It, it doesn't take up the whole tile like I would imagine it to. Nope. My inventory must be full because I can avoid things in the hallways, which is really cool. All right. Let's go ahead and use that on the sword. Maybe. Sword might be indestructible. That might have been a stupid idea. I cannot eat the walnut, the hazelnut, or the acorn. Interesting. I can't eat the chicken. I can't eat the apple. I'm not going to worry about the rest. I almost hit escape. Now I'm looking pretty good. I'm I'm sitting pretty now. Yeah, I don't want to go that way. I'm just hoping. Wow. My harp destroyed that skeleton. I found it. I found the exit. Let's eat the chicken we got, pick up the chicken we found, and get the hell out of Dodge. What is it with adventures being totally okay with eating chicken that they find in the dungeon? Here's floor three. See how fast this loads? It is insane how fast this loads. Alright. We know that we need to find keys at the very least. The blade of speed? All right, we'll use that. Can't use that. Those mana potions out of here. I don't want them, I don't need them. I want the blade of speed. It has damage of two. Yeah, you know, I can't see what my, what my current sword is. Maybe it's broken. No, it just, just, just doesn't have any stats. That's okay. I'm still not killing the skeletons fast enough to hurt them and kill them as they spawn out of the crypts. That's totally fine, because I like the challenge. Oh, God. oh, all of my stuff just appeared here. That's so cool. I figured it would disappear forever. That's awesome. It's persistent. That makes me happy. Ow. That takes my happiness away. Fire my fire mixtape at all, you jokers. There was a massacre here. Hmm. You called a massacre. I called a concert. I can't quite see. Okay. Let's be fine. Yep. Ow. Stupid acorn. 
That's what I risked my life for. I have got to adjust for timing. Let's go ahead and drink some apple juice so we can pick up the apple juice. I'm out of here. I need a key. I don't have a key yet. Crap, man. The Dungeons of Mysteria are no joke. You come here, you better be prepared. I wonder if there will be a vendor that sells keys. I know that, that it may seem unintuitive. It may seem a little... Why have that? I just wonder, you know, if there would be a town locksmith. Something like that. I think that would be kind of neat. Hello. Oh. Yolly. The mean bone boy. I ain't taking it from you. I ain't taking your bone business. I am here to finish the dungeon and go to town for the first time. Yeah, you know embarrassing it would be if I died at this point. Pretty embarrassed. Ooh, hello. Jeez. Okay, well, I've got just so much. I don't think I want these nuts in my inventory. I'll go ahead and get rid of them. At least a couple. The Staff of Mire? I don't know if I want to pick that up. I think I'll... I think I'll skip the Staff of Mire. I rather like my sword and bow. Combination here. I think it works out really well. This is really neat though. The bow of question mark. Guess I'll pick that up. Oh, it's literally not. It, it doesn't. It's literally not. Okay. I gotcha. That's fair. What? Developer, I put down the bow and it put down. <laughs> it put down three frames of bow graphic. Oh my goodness. That's fine. Let's get out of here. I need to go find the key. This room has far too many spikes. More spikes than it has any right to have. Once again, some delicious wall chicken. Tomb chicken, no less. Don't want your mana potion. Not playing a mana, mana build, a stiletto of pointiness. I think I like my speed sword better. Sword of sharpness. Armor of defense. What do I have? Let's get rid of the nuts. Let's eat the chicken. Let's eat the apple juice. Let's get rid of the nut. Um, yeah, that works. doesn't say so we'll put it on anyway and then why is it a ring what have I done oh I don't know I don't know I reckon that's not supposed to happen haha -ha. I reckon that's not supposed to happen the Sword of Sharpness has a damage of 4. Hmm. We'll do it. It's not like I'm having trouble whacking things, though. Oh my god. Yep. Oh god. I didn't see you there. He's almost dead. Maybe. Are you the boss of this dungeon? After I kill you, I got the key. Alright. We can do this, guys. We just gotta go back to where that door was. Where was that door? It was not in unexplored territory, so straight ahead. Thanks for not paying attention, Ash. Eat the carrots. Eat the carrots, Ash. Uh-huh. 
F you. All right, forward march. Looking for the stairs down. It was this way, right? Right, guys, right? It was not. My horrible directional senses are striking again. Going on strike, rather. As I walk into the spikes of the, of the valley of death. There's the way up. That doesn't help. I need the way down. At least I can endeavor to eat my wall chicken. Okay, was it the green? I think it was the green. I think we'll be fine now, guys. I think we've made it. We just beat a really strong boss. Yeah, it's green. It's the green. I gotta remember that. Not the... Not the... Not the fourth floor. Not the fourth floor. Oh my god, what is that? The treasure of wood. What glorious fanfare, and how deserved can you think of anybody more deserving of that fanfare than yours truly, who has slaved away for three whole videos now, this one more than tw twice the length of the other ones put together, to destroy the dungeon of Mysteria. Well, one of the many infinite dungeons of Mysteria. In fact, my accomplishment is rather rendered meaningless when you figure that the amount of possible combinations of dungeons is infinitesimal. Anyway, we cannot retire this character. We'll have to continue. But do we go to the town? We do. It's just called the clearing still. But uh, now we can actually go and we can talk to this hobo. I mean, merchant. It's good to see you back again. You, you, you. Okay. There is a clearing beyond that would make a nice place to start a town. All that is there at the moment is some old statue. If you ever feel like retiring, that could be a great place to set up a small shop. So the retirees will set up shops. And they'll tell you stories. And the story that they tell you will be reminiscent of the dungeon that they ran, that you ran while you were playing that character. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that just one of the loveliest little mechanics? I find a lot of stuff I'm wondering about. Would you like to see my stock? Yes. Yeah, that's great. But I have some stuff to sell you, like you would not believe. So, I don't know if I'm expected at this point to go back into the dungeon. Mm, I don't want to do that yet. I really want to sell him my stuff. Ah, that doesn't work. I don't seem to be able to sell anything right now. I don't want to buy any of his stuff though. So I think I'll try to go back into the dungeon just to see what happens because I don't think I have any other recourse at this time. I don't think I have any other action that I can do. I simply go back into the dungeon. It's a new randomly generated dungeon. The floor, the dungeon of the, the sleeping paladin, floor one. At this point, I am going to retire myself. Uh, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little playthrough. I do plan on playing even more, trying out some different builds, some different play styles. Hey now, hey now, hey now. Not, don't interrupt me during my ending. I guess it's my fault because, you know, I smashed the tomb while I was ending my video, but, but I would love to hear your thoughts and you can leave below any comments or suggestions or requests or questions that you might have for the developer of this game. And I, I will be happy to pass along anything that he doesn't catch. So um, thanks again. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Bye.